ericmothermother.com. For those of you who like to swing trade on the smaller time frames from hour to hour, day to day, we can use our uniformity method to have captured this low and this low as far as the financial sector ETF, XLF is concerned. And to understand where I'm coming from, I'm going to include the links in the description of the video explaining this method here, which is my own method that I've used for many years in trying to understand turnaround situations. So back to the chart here. And what we can do is figure out where we start moving higher. And we can see off the lows there. That's the low. And that corresponds with RSI movement right there. So this RSI movement begins moving the instrument higher. Since then, we haven't been back to those lows. We take that information and draw our uniformity line. You can see it came back to test the same level. This held with the uniform action, which gave us that entry for a swing trade. We extend the same line. And again, it gives us another re-entry. It comes back to test that level. It holds, gives us that re-entry for another swing trade. So it's a simple yet powerful method that we can use to visually tell us where a market itself is telling us it's coming back to test a critical level. If it holds, then it means that there is an actionable trade situation. All right, so that's what happened. Now, what about now? In the short term, we can see if one is looking for an opportunity, we can see here an attempt to recapture recent hourly closing highs. But take a look at the technicals which are pointing down. In other words, looks like the setting of negative divergence. And keep in mind that we are making this attempt to make new hourly closing highs with the RSI struggling to hold above the 61.8 level. In other words, for those trading intraday, hour to hour, day to day, this would be where you start picking up a position or adding on to a bearish position, expecting some type of hour to hour day to day pullback based on the fact that it looks like this is negative divergence that is creeping up as far as the XLF is concerned. So that's how you can swing trade intraday based on using the RSI simple techniques. And for more information, one more time, I'm going to include links in the description of the video that are going to be explaining this in more detail. Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.